to us every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. He's the brain of operations. I'm telling you right now, book it! And him, he's along for the ride. Indeed! But together, they bring you sports like you've never heard before. The Wait a Minute Show, a new way of discussing today's trending sports topics. And now, back to the show with your host, Jolani J.B. Bodie. Indeed! Indeed, Lopan. Indeed. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and, and we're just going to get right to it. Uh, we're handing out the Big Yellow Award. Oh, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. TDSS 5 uh, is going down. Ladies and gentlemen, October 18th, 19th, and 20th. Make sure, if you haven't already, to register. You can, It's easy to do. Just go to xquadaffiliates.com slash TDSS 5. T as in the, D as in Doug, S-S. Stewart show the number five uh, and come down here and hang out with your boy and do not forget Saturdays as well 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time is the wait a minute show so you can go to the wait a minute show dot com so we do two shows here on Esquad Radio Network and also on Saturdays on the wait a minute show dot com so now that that is out the way ladies and gentlemen it's time to give out the big L award which is the big loser award and I would tell you normally I would say 90 Eight ninety nine percent of the time when we hand out this award, we are just joking around. We are just having good fun and, and it's nothing meant to be uh, harsh or, or anything like that. It is just for chuckles. It's a, you know, ha 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 ha. Tonight is different. I normally at the end, I'm going and all that stuff. Ain't going to be none of that tonight. I'm handing out the Big L Award, uh, the Big Lose Award, and I already told you who it was going to. And it's going to the Indianapolis Colts fans. And here's why. Now, I talked about Andrew Luck retiring, uh, you know, and it leaked and everybody found out and all this stuff. And and, and, uh, and during the game, while it was going on, everybody knew. So obviously the cameras was going to be watching when he came off the field. There was going to be a con- press conference. They were going to have, he was going to have to talk about it and all this. But as he was walking off the field, he is at home in Lucas Oil Stadium. And the, it, the Indianapolis Colts fans had the nerve, the gall to boo this man. For what? For what reason? How many times have we got stuff filter out to us, leak to us, and then you react and then you do not hear the entire story? I have heard about Indianapolis Colts fans uh, wanting their money back. They're upset about the timing. They, you know, uh, they calling him soft and all this stuff. Look, here's the thing. You can have a, a, a beef you can have, you know, a, a, you know, something that you may not like with Andrew Luck, but to boo the man as he's walking off the field is classless, is tasteless, and it's just stupid, just stupid to do for a guy that came into this league. And he gave everything that he had. It's not like he sold that team short. It's not like he sold the fans short. He never turned his back on the fans. He never made excuses for the fans. And he went out there, lacerated uh, uh, kidneys. He went out there with broken ribs and everything else that he was injured with. And he put it on the line every freaking week. And I'm talking as if... I'm a big Andrew Luck fan. No, I'm not a big Andrew Luck fan because I'm not a Colts fan. But right is right. Wrong is wrong. And it was wrong to boo this man for what he decided was best for his life. People calling him soft. Please miss me with that because people out there in the world. And yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. People out there can't even take themselves to the gym for 30 minutes just to walk on a treadmill or do something else or walk around a high school track and field. And then you're going to talk about somebody soft. You don't even know what NFL players and 
professional athletes themselves go through and put themselves through on a daily basis to come out there and entertain you. And then you want to try and ask for your money back. Your money wasn't, this is not the Andrew Luck Colts. This is the Indianapolis Colts. And I did not hear anyone booing or wanting their money back when the Indianapolis Colts decided to move on from Peyton Manning. Because you had Curtis Painter there and you went almost 0-16 with him and that's how you got Andrew Luck and everybody was so excited when he came in. The brother came in with the same team that Curtis Painter had and he took them to the playoffs his rookie year, then to follow it up and advanced into the second round and then to follow up the third year to play in the AFC Championship game for an opportunity to play in the Super Bowl but he ran into T. Brady and you know T. Brady got a big list of people that would have, could have, should have if they hadn't seen T. Brady. So I don't know what these Indianapolis Colts fans, not all of them, you know I'm just talking about some of them, got the nerve to want to boo this man and be upset because this man could not take it anymore mentally, physically, uh, physically and he gave you everything he had. To try and bring you guys a championship, to try and get you to the playoffs, to try and win games. You cannot like his decision. That's fine. You can disagree with his decision. That's fine. If you don't like him, you don't like him. That's fine. But don't boo that man. He didn't do anything that bad to where it deserved for him to be booed. So here at the Wait a Minute Show, if you're an Indianapolis Colts fan and you were booing him, I want to make that specific. If you were booing him, you should be ashamed of yourself and you should be ashamed of of, of calling yourself a fan acting like that. So you got to take this Big L award. Ah, see? Another loser. I told you I'm not doing that because they got they got me so upset. Colts fans. At what point are you, I'm not even going to go there. I already said what I had to say because now it's it's time for the positive stuff. We got all that that stuff out the way, but that man did not deserve to be booed. And then it's coming out that the Colts knew, you know, uh, well before what people thought it was. So wait, stop trying to be the first person to react to something. Don't be so quick to judge. Find out. Be informed. Goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is another one in the books. And again, if you listen to this live, I apologize. We had some technical difficulties, but we figured it out, man. We got it done and we came to you broke. Testing on X Squad Radio Network to give you another show. So if you were listening in the background and you listen to the playback, I appreciate you uh, for, for tuning in. And then I gotta thank some people that's in the chat room uh, as well. Uh, and that Faro Jaro beat is going in the back, man. That's my guy. Uh, Cedric Galloway, I see you out there, man. I appreciate you for joining in. Mocha Bella. Uh, Mocha Bella was at the uh, Miami Dolphins game. Nobody was in the stands, so I think it was a, a regular season game. No, I'm sorry. I'm just playing with you. Uh, thank you for joining in, uh, Mocha Bella. Uh, Mo Cheese, I see you out there. Big dog, appreciate you for joining in. Uh, Marcus, I see you out there. Hey, man, don't be in here talking about no Popeyes or no uh, uh, Chick-fil-A. Forget them two and get on them two screens. He know what I'm talking about uh professor x kesey i see you out there appreciate your big dog melvin i see you out there appreciate your big dog who else we got out here uh oh andrew kofsky aka narc kofsky man appreciate you for joining in man uh so ladies and gentlemen man it's labor day weekend that's coming up so be safe out there man keep your eyes and keep your head on the swivel uh because it's going to be some crazy people out there that may be trying to ruin uh your weekend but do not let them ruin your weekend man just stay positive uh and and enjoy each other's company this weekend love 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 tell somebody you love them tell yourself you love yourself uh first look at yourself in the mirror and say i love you i love you and I'm telling you, you'll be able to get through anything, man. So for your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie, host of this thing called The Wait a Minute Show, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to holler at y'all later. Two things as always. 
stay positive and push forward. And I'll holler at y'all later. Lopin, let's go.